This is verse 26 of the 10th chapter of the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus is warning his disciples that their lot is not going to be much better than Jesus was. He faced the hatred of those who were entrenched against him and uh, indicates that uh, the accusations they made against him and being in league with Beelzebub would probably devolve on them as well. But now he gives this word of comfort in connection with that. So we have may, the negation, when used with the uh, subjunctive, is a prohibition. So this is the uh, second person plural aorist passive subjunctive. Do not be afraid of them. The passive is used here uh, idiomatically to uh, stand for the idea of being put in a, uh, a situation of fear or a feeling of fear. Don't let fear overtake you in this uh, situation where you're going to be falsely accused, uh, as he has predicted would happen, the post-positive un, so therefore do not fear, autus, the direct object, uh, pronoun, masculine, uh, plural, accusative, so do not fear them, uden, this is the adjective, it means no one or nothing, in this case it's the uh, neuter, so nothing, uh, no thing, literally, it could uh, it could modify some actual noun, but when it's used as it frequently is, uh, in this way, uh, the substantive it just means nothing. Uh, for the post positive for nothing, esten from Amy, I am third person singular present active indicative for nothing is kekalumenon. This is from uh, kalupto. Uh, the derivation of it seems to be a combination of uh, the verb klepto, which means I steal, a kleptomaniac, of course, and krupto, as in something being cryptic, which means secret. So the pull, uh, both of those roots are rather pulled together. And this word, uh, kalupto, which simply means to be secret or stolen away or hidden away or something like that. So nothing is secret. Uh, this is the uh, perfect passive participle. Uh, neuter singular nominative, so there's nothing that has been made a secret uh, a relative pronoun ho, which uk apokaluf thesetai. Uh, this is from apokalupto, uh, means to reveal as in an apocalypse. So there is nothing which is hidden, which is not going to be uh, unveiled, is the idea of this. Kai in this uh, uh, adjective now kruptone, secret. Uh, which relative pronoun, u, negation, genosthesetai, will not be made known. Both of these, of course, in the passive. Uh, this uh, from genosko, to be known. And uh, so both of them indicating that uh, though things may be secret for a while, people may be hiding their motives for a while. Uh, those who are persecuting you, sometimes under false pretenses, may get away with it for a while, but nothing of any of these are going to be kept secret forever. It will finally come to light. And by the same token, those who are allied with Christ, uh, even if that's not known at the uh, outset, it's going to become known that uh, the final truth of the matter is going to come to light precisely because a righteous God is governing this universe and sees to it that uh, this criminal behavior, while it may uh, be permitted for a while, is eventually going to uh, fully be disclosed and the motives of those involved in it will be brought fully to light.